She got the sauce, mm, choose it. And the get up at the same time, bougie, ooh it. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome to the sauce. Today we have Mayonde and Elvis. So, ladies first. <laughs> yeah, <of course. laughs> Mayonde, tell us um, about your name. It's very unique. What does Mayonde yes. mean? Uh, so, Mayonde is a Rwandan name. I'm half Rwandan. Mm-hmm. And I was named after my Rwandan grandmother. Oh, and wow. Mayonde means blessed. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, it means she who rises uh, in adversity. Wow, yeah. that's beautiful, <laughs> that's beautiful. Elvis, mm. um, tell us who Elvis is. Well, um, Elvis is a singer-songwriter, music producer. Uh, he's currently in Kenya for studies, but I mean, I can't leave music alone, so. <laughs> that goes with me everywhere. So yeah, basically that's Elvis in a nutshell. You do quite a lot. How do you juggle all these things? Time management. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's just knowing what you... First of all, deciding what you want to do and then just planning for that accordingly. Mm-hmm. Mayonde, tell us about um, your music and the song Nairobi. How was it received? Oh, well, uh, Nairobi, I think, is one of my most popular songs. I and love it. <laughs> thank you. And it's like my little love letter to this beautiful city, this bizarre city, this fun <laughs> city that we live in mm-hmm. and all the awesome people that live here. Um, mm-hmm. So the reception was really good. I, I love when I go to shows and I sing it a cappella and people sing along. Yeah. Um, the aim of my music is to connect people, to connect with others. And so it's always such a good point of connection when we can sing songs together. And that's really what I want my music to do for people to sing along and have a good time. That's amazing. Have you always wanted to sing? Um, I actually wanted to be a dancer when I was a kid. I, did, I didn't know I could sing. Bust some moves, bust hey, some moves right now. I, you know, I, I would watch Janet Jackson and just be like, oh my gosh, I'm going to be a dancer for her when I grow up. And then her brother will find me and fall in love with me oh. and we'll get married oh, wow. Oh, wow. and make records together. That was my dream when I was five years old. Uh-huh. <laughs> but I ended up in music and not dance. Wow. <laughs> Describe yourself in three words. Sexy, saucy, Yay. sensual. <laughs> <laughs> you should definitely be part of the and sauce. Smart. <laughs> She's smart too. <laughs> that, that's, let's clamp sexy and sensual together. And then saucy and then smart. Team sauce people. Team sauce. <laughs> um, Elvis, um, you're born in Nigeria, but then you spent quite a lot of time here. Yeah. Um, how have you been able to merge these two influences in your music? Um, pretty well, actually. Uh, when I came here at first, I didn't know what anyone was saying. <laughs> but now, at least I can make out a few words. Yeah. And also when I'm writing, because I want to connect. A few words? A few words, yeah. <laughs> How long have you been here again? <laughs> uh, about three years now. Oh, well. Yeah, three years and counting. So um, I like to connect, connect with my audience. And because everyone here mostly speaks uh, Swahili yeah. so I need to add that in my in my music also so what I do is I write I write a few lines and then I'm like yo call my friend I'm like what does this mean in Swahili <laughs> <laughs> yeah and then they just tell me and if it sounds nice uh, I go ahead with it if it doesn't I look for another word that's close to it that maybe rhymes or something and yeah I just play around with it yeah. so when can we expect more music from you I know you've done a song with my own day and DJ space but then that aside when can we expect more music hopefully next week next week there's somewhere that I had seen you said um, an album is coming. Is oh, it yeah. still coming? Uh, yeah, an album is definitely coming. Albums are coming. What are you saying? <laughs> <laughs> albums. Albums are coming. Albums, yeah, not albums. Yeah. Okay, Mayonde, talk to us about your new song with DJ Space mm-hmm. and um, Elvis. How is it working together? Um, well, I've always wanted to have a club banger and who better than to produce a song than DJ Space for that because he has a lot of information and data and knowledge over the years about what bumps in the club. Mm-hmm. And so 
we came up with this song uh, Elvis and I we wrote to his beat and wow. it's, it was just so much fun to make this song I, I can't wait to see the journey that this song takes yeah. uh, already the response has been so good and my hope is that it just bangs in the club I can't wait to perform it um, I actually performed it for the first time yesterday at University of Nairobi yeah. and guys seem to really like it um, but yeah I'm looking forward to like getting dancers and like fixing a routine to it and just i feel like this song will keep evolving and growing and i, I feel like it's it's a really good one it's a good one yes it is yeah. it is <laughs> elvis how is it working on something um dance hall you know we've we're so used to you singing lavi davi dance hall it was so much fun um i'm really excited about like trying out new things uh, and I'm Nigerian, like <laughs> Afrobeat is like, <laughs> it's in my blood, right? So, mm -hmm. so it was a lot of fun, uh, you know, just not really singing, just vibing to the beat. It was so much fun. I really enjoyed it. Tell us three lessons that you've learned from being on uh, music shows, not music shows, but music competitions, like Trace, a music star. Um, three lessons? Yes. Okay, go in expecting the best. <laughs> but, but, yeah, but. but you know anything can happen. Uh, secondly, always be willing to like have an open mind, right? Because mm -hmm. you might go there thinking you know something, and because you're so strong-headed, you might miss a lesson or you might miss an opportunity because maybe one of the judges is like, "This guy's too, this guy's big headed. Let me show him a lesson," you know. So yeah, uh, be open-minded and be humble. Mm. Good advice, <laughs> Mayande. Over to you. So now. Um, you started out, you know, not started out, but then people knew you as that chick from Cox Studio Africa. Um, give three lessons that you've learned or words of advice that you can give to someone who wants to venture into this kind of thing. Into Cox Studio specifically or the music? Industry? Just music and being a background vocalist. Mm. Huh, I would say take any opportunity you can to sing, like to make money and sing, uh, mm -hmm. take it, take it. Don't be too proud to be a backing vocalist if you're starting out. Because mm -hmm. I remember having a mentor who was like, never sing backing vocals. You need Why? to be the diva <laughs> on stage. You need to have pride. You need to know your worth. And yes, I did know my worth and my value. And I took the job on Cook Studio Africa because I knew I was going to learn. I was going to work with producers and artists from all over Africa. I was going to be with one of the best bands in Africa every single day making music. And that was like music school for me so definitely don't be too proud to take on opportunities um, you have to start somewhere so maybe that's one uh, the second one would be um, there's so much you can learn from observing other artists yeah and so uh, there's something I learned the other day that you should check out your heroes heroes right mm -hmm. so if I really really love Yem Yalade I should even find out who is Yemi Alade listening to? to? Who makes Yemi Alade Yemi Alade? Mm -hmm. Exactly. So all just watching other artists who are doing great things and trying to follow in their footsteps in terms of merchandising or branding or uh, just how they carry themselves as artists. I was so surprised in Coke Studio because a lot of the Nigerian artists who came really carried themselves like royalty and expected everyone to wait on their hand and foot and yeah. the Kenyans were just running after them. I was just like, what is this energy? Such divas. Yeah. yeah, but it's because they understand their worth and their value and how they carry themselves. I learned that on Cook Studio. That's number two. I'm talking so much. No, please um, go ahead. The third lesson would probably be that everyone who's somebody today was once a nobody. Nobody who's like a big star was always a big star. They weren't born a big star. They became that by working at it, by, you know, uh, keeping at their craft, being perseverant. Uh, Perseverant, <laughs> guys. <laughs> Persistent. <laughs> Thank you. She's smart. So, <laughs> yeah, <English> is not. Ilikuja <laughs> Nameli, please. I'm African, but yeah. Um, yeah, just being uh, persistent mm -hmm. and resilient and keeping at it and eventually it adds up to something. So that was very encouraging to learn in <laughs> Cook Studio. <laughs> amazing, amazing, amazing advice. Um, we're going to give you a chance, both of you, to like sing for us a little bit something. Okay. But then I want it to be 
um, well, this is a challenge. I would have okay. told you to sing one of your <laughs> songs, but then I want you to sing um, any Kenyan classic that you can, mm -hmm. any, any that you can think of that you can sing okay. along to. Okay? Kenyan classic. Yes. <laughs> You've been here for <laughs> three years, Nigerian Elvis. Classic. Oh my God. Elvis, you, you can you can give us okay. something. I'm you just know, like evening it out song. across the board. I would have told you to sing something <laughs> Rwandese, <laughs> but yeah, um. something Kenyan. Malaika nakupenda malaika Malaika nakupenda malaika Nami nifanyeche Kijana mwezio Na shindwa na malisi na we Ninge kuoa malaika there we go. Over to you. <laughs> In my life, I never seen melanin so dark. The queen of the dance floor, night socialite for the Lagos scene, baby. Would you put me in your diary? She's a heartbreaker. She bend over back breaker. She do not want a vapor. I want to date her. Tell me why you do me so, no, no, no. Tell me why you do me so, no, no, no. Me, I'm not gonna let you go. Say me, I'm not gonna let you go. Yeah. Hey guys, what's up? It's your boy Elvis Who. And you're watching The Source. Click the subscribe button for more content. Mwah. <laughs>